it promotes language development. Secondly, we see that children can usually communicate manually before they can communicate orally. An example of that might be um, for an infant to do more with their hands, it's easier than saying more with your lips. And so by being able to communicate once in needs, it reduces frustration, not just for the infant, but also for the parents. The earlier, the better. The more a child sees um, a signed word or hears a spoken word, they learn it faster. So as soon as you want to dive into learning sign, that's the best time to start. Children will usually start communicating things they want or need. For example, milk would be one of the a sign that a lot of times uh, children will say or sign early. And this is just actually made when you think about milking a cow. That's where that comes from. Um, mom and dad. Get a book. Check out, you know, one of the DVDs from the library. Start learning the vocabulary. It's nice to kind of keep a list and check it off with mom and dad. The more you use it, the easier it becomes and the more natural. One thing that I think some parents do is they're thinking so much about their signs that they're not communicating naturally the way they would with their child. And you don't want to do that. You want it to be just natural. And if it starts to get in the way of communication, if you're thinking more about what you're signing than what you're saying and the way you're interacting, you want to slow down a little bit.